Well, hello, this is Neil, your Geek with Glasses, coming to you today with an iPhone app review. I get lots of questions from friends of mine who have iPhones or are new to iPhone, as well as direct messages on my Twitter account asking me what my favorite iPhone app is and why. So I decided I'd make a short video today demonstrating that app and uh, just describing why it is that I like it. So what you're seeing right now is kind of the hub of my home entertainment center. And you'll see right here in the lower part of my screen, I have an Apple TV hooked up to my entertainment system in my living room. And I use my Apple TV primarily to stream music so that I can listen to my iTunes library throughout the house. But I also use it uh, for watching podcasts as well as downloading and uh, renting movies from the iTunes library and watching videos and other content from the um, iTunes store. So what uh, comes naturally to me, being an iPhone user, is the Apple application, which is called Remote. And as soon as my camera focuses here on the iPhone versus the TV, I'll be able to demonstrate that for you. So what you see right here in uh, the, cor the corner of my phone is the Apple Remote application. If we go ahead and launch that application, what you're actually going to see is it connecting via the wireless internet in my home to my Apple TV. And with this application, I have many ways of controlling my Apple TV and the music that streams throughout my house, as well as the content such as podcasts and music videos, as well as any other content that I may have on my Apple TV, from photos to movies to TV shows that have been rented. Um, one of the ones that you're going to see right here is a tap navigation. This tap navigation works a lot like the actual Apple remote that you receive when you buy an Apple TV, only it's integrated directly with your phone and you don't have to have line of sight because it works over your wireless network. Network. So what you're actually going to see if you watch the menus behind me, as I scroll my finger up and down the screen, it selects my options on the Apple TV. And if I want to go up a menu, I just click that button. So what you can see right here is a uh, my Dignation podcast channel. And so if I want to actually go back and select some music, I can just simply click the menu button, click over, go up, select, uh, I'm sorry, but not movies. Let's go back and select music. Let's click menu go over, we'll go up one, select music, scroll down to my music, and hit the, uh, the center of the screen. And what you're looking at now is a complete listing, whether it be just like you would have control in iTunes of an album or artists or um, you know your genius playlist compilations or any other playlist that you may have. And that begins to scroll. So if I wanted to select my album, I could just tap the screen there. And it'll go into those albums, and I can scroll through all of the albums that I have available on my Apple TV, which is sunk with my media server in my office. That's one of the ways. So if I wanted to select something, like you can see here, we've got Mark Broussard's album selected. If I wanted to listen to that, I could tap it, select the music that I want, tap it, and that music actually begins to play. Very loudly, I might add. I also have full control of the volume via my iPhone as well as the track numbers via the iPhone, which is another nice compliment because I can be anywhere in the house and be controlling my library. This is one way of actually touching the menus to control the content and what I'm listening to. I also have the classic iTunes or iPhone view where I have all of my content available to scroll, uh, to scroll through using the phone and then I could just very simply select an album or an artist that I may be interested in. So let's go ahead and select um, Let's see here, we've got the Black IP, so I can select that, and then I have all their music information that I can uh, choose from. And again, I can just go ahead and tap that button, and it'll actually launch that song and begin playing it. And again, I have full control over the volume, um, as well as tracks directly from my phone. So that's one of the reasons uh, that I like the uh, the remote app. And another uh, one of the other reasons I also like it is I've got a full media center set up in my house using an Airport Express. In my bedroom, I have a Cambridge Classic uh, desktop wave radio. And if I click in the very center, you'll see this little pop-up that showed that displays on the iPhone, if I can get it to focus here. And it actually says speakers on the middle of the iPhone. And focus, there we go. I can click that speakers button and you'll notice I have Airport Express and Neil's Apple TV. So if I've got that checked and I have the radio on in my bedroom, any of the music that's being streamed to my Apple TV is also being streamed to that Airport Express. And if I wanted to take it one step further, I can actually go back to my settings here and instead of controlling my Apple TV, I can actually select my MacBook library, which has my entire content um, of music as well, 
and go right back into an album mode and scroll up and down and, and pick the music that I want to play. And once I have something playing, you'll notice I get the speaker button that pops up as well. Now, this is now playing on my speakers in the office, and I can also click the tap button and I can select, you'll see, computer, Airport Express, and Apple TV. So now I've got music playing in all three rooms, three major rooms of my house, all from one small, very easy to use application that works right on the, uh, the iPhone. Also, if you have an iPod Touch, this application works on there as well. So that is a quick overview of the Apple Remote application, uh, which is my favorite and probably my most used app on my iPhone for the reason that um, I constantly have music on pretty much any time I'm at home. For the most part, if I'm not watching TV, um, if I'm pounding away on the computer or if I'm just you know cleaning house or doing anything else, I'm listening to music and I listen to it through my entertainment center and stream it throughout my house. So um, why don't you go out, if you've got an Apple TV or even if you just have iTunes on one of your computers with a computer plugged into it, um, you know, with some decent speakers, check this application out and you can remotely control that music from within the app. And the other really cool thing too is if you've got some friends um, who also have iTunes and you go over to their house and let's say you wanted to play DJ for a gathering or, or, or party, you can very easily pair up your Apple, uh, your iPhone remote app with their copy of iTunes so that you can then control the music at their house as well and it'll show up. But right now what you're just seeing is the, the, the computers that I have hooked up to my media center at home and I can control those. So take a look um, at the Remote View app if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any ideas for shows or apps that you would like to see reviewed, please leave those in the comments below as well. If you can, follow us on Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, you can find me at twitter.com slash geekwithglasses. And hopefully I will see you somewhere on the internets. Thanks a lot and have a great day.